Good afternoon, everybody, on this Tuesday. Thank you so much for joining us here at noon on News 8. Of course, your local election headquarters. I'm Brennan Summers. Today, voters throughout Monroe County, statewide here in New York, and all over the country are headed to the polls to make their choices on this election day. Some of you have done that. You got out early on, soon after the polls open. We have Michaela Singleton joining us live right now from East High with some of the reaction today from voters. Michaela. Yeah, absolutely, Brennan. We've certainly seen a steady stream of folks coming in through those doors here at East High before uh, the day has really gotten going very quickly. 6 a.m., those doors open, steady stream of people coming through. We did just receive that Board of Elections report that nearly 30,000 people have voted so far today. That's 6% of registered voters, but it also doesn't include the 23,000 who voted early. So turnout's great so far. Now, what does seem to be on everyone's mind, everyone who did uh, speak with us this morning is that this is not the year to slack off on your civic duty. Certainly the biggest names on the ballot, candidates up for Monroe County Executive, the incumbent Democrat Adam Bello and the Republican challenger Mark Assini. Now certainly whoever wins there will have a lot of sway here in Monroe County. However, also on the ballot, the races for family and state Supreme Court, Rochester City Court and City Council contests. Now one local mom does tell us that a lot has changed in her life since the last presidential election, which has prompted her to read today's ballot very carefully. Since then, my oldest has started school, and I needed to look out for things that I either needed to see changed in our leadership or things that I wanted to see the same. And so I really took a second to think about who I wanted in those positions. We've also been sure to keep on top of our Board of Elections representatives asking about the conditions of our polling machines. Everywhere they're being used so far, there's no reports of any issues there. Stay with News 8 as we will continue updating you as those results and the turnout numbers continue to flow in throughout the day. Reporting in Rochester, Michaela Singleton, News 8. Brennan? All right, Michaela, thank you. Things busy there at East High.